percent new growth. And we found, based upon growth studies, that about eight days is a good amount of time to count growth before axes start to fall off or senesce or they get, you know, except that a lot of change happens to the plant. So we always do these growth periods over an eight-day period. And what we found is that basically growth does vary seasonally in among depths. So if you go into a meadow at a particular time, at a particular depth, it's going to be different. So initially our first data set was in March 2006, and we saw a huge increase in growth or a lot, a lot of growth at 10 meters compared to 20 meters depth and 30 meters depth. Again, this is percent new growth over an eight-day period. And so at the 10 meter depth, you know, the plant grew about 23, 24 percent of its growth. It regrew over an eight-day period. That's, that's a really fast growth rate, even for an alga. So it was a very productive. And then at, 10, at 20 and 30 meter depths, not so much different. A lot, a little bit slower growth, less than 10, between 5 and 10 percent. But still, that's, that's a fair amount. And we thought, we thought we had it all figured out. Went back in May, not, as, not nearly as much growth, but again, this nice pattern of a lot more at 10 meters than less at 20 and 30. And then July came, and the pattern sort of broke, and we had a lot more growth at 20 meters depth. And so the next question was, okay, later on in the season during winter months, which unfortunately it's difficult to get in the water and get to at these depths, but what's going to happen? Are we going to see a similar pattern? Are we going to see more growth? Are we going to see less growth? Typically during winter you have a lot of um, runoff, you have larger waves. What I expected to happen was a lot, lot less growth. And in fact, during this period that we went out um, to in December, um, was when we had those hu first huge winter swell come through. Yeah, that's when I had the plants staining in the water. So we actually had a very difficult time even getting the plants back out. So what I thought was going to happen is that we'd have very, very low growth levels. And what we found is that actually the growth levels were fairly similar to what was in May. Um, uh, I, I have no idea why growth was different and so low at 20 meters compared to 30 meters. But it was an interesting pattern. And then what I'm doing is analyzing for all these steps. Um, I have um, other data concerning light and physiology concerning um, fluorescence readings at these steps. And so we're interpreting all these patterns together to try and better understand the impacts and, and a real stable isotope data, try to understand what's affecting the growth and the variability that we're seeing in these patterns. So the take home message is that depending upon depth, growth can be very different. There are a number of factors probably affecting this. It's just not as simple as a decrease in light with depth. Um, but overall, these plants are um, highly productive with an average of about 12% growth if you average it over all year and those 10 through uh, 20 and 30 meter depths, that 12% growth over an eight day period is a fair amount for an alga. So for based upon these growth rates and the densities we're seeing, these plants are producing a lot of sand. So basically um, to take home from the seasonal data that we were able to collect is that the plants can be long lived over three years. They can recover quickly if the thallus is disturbed to so the upright portion, but really slow to recover if the hold fast is removed. The growth rates vary seasonally and among depths and that these meadows are highly productive with an average growth rate of about 12% over an eight day period. And using that information, I didn't go into it, but they have a calcium carbonate production rate of about 800 grams of calcium carbonate per meter squared per year, so a fair amount. Um, so with the, the work that I'm doing with CRED, I'd especially like to acknowledge um, these folks with this Lanai-E data set um, and the websites that I use some of the information from. And then for the Halamita Meadows, a number of um, people have allowed us to collect this data. Um, particularly Matt Ross, uh, Mark Vermeer, um, uh, Skippy Howe um, as well, especially um, at DAR has helped us with collecting a lot of this data and all the funding and support from numerous um, agencies, especially um, Hickory and DAR, with allowing us to collect this data.